The Lone Stranger in Porky is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1939. This is directed by Robert Clampett and written by Warren Foster with voices provided by Mel Blanc, Pinto Colvig, Billy Bletcher and Danny Webb. And it's okay. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I didn't love it either. I will say, though, it's got a lot. There's a lot going on and it's very well animated. It's a very busy cartoon, so it's not too bad. We also have a very strong villainous character who is robbing Porky Pig. And our uh, Lone Stranger character goes to his rescue. And I won't say exactly what happens with that or whether he's successful in rescuing him. But we also have a narrative involving uh, his horse and another horse. And it, it's quite cute. It's not too bad. As I said, it's a very busy cartoon. It goes from one one thing to the next really quickly, which I think works really well. Although having said that... It actually took a little while to get Porky Pig on the screen, so it took a while to get anywhere. But once Porky came into it, everything moved really quickly. The sound effects were really good. The villain is a very well-established character. It's very clear he's the villain. Um, I think he comes across exactly as the way I would have imagined him. So it's not too bad. The pacing, once it gets going, is good. The animation quality is good. The sound effects are good. The characters are all very, well, actually, I was going to say very likeable or true to what I expected. I don't love The Lone Stranger. I don't hate the character, but I certainly don't have any positive feelings about him. And I don't love the way he's animated either. So I'm not the biggest fan of that character. Um, and considering he's kind of the main focus for a lot of it, that's not that great. But generally speaking, it's okay. I don't think I'd ever watch it again. There wasn't anything about this that stood out to me as being particularly fascinating or you know exceptionally well done that would make it stand out from others it's not bad if you like this kind of cartoon and it sounds like your kind of thing or if you're just a fan of porky in general i'd say give it a go but as i said personally i don't think i'll be watching it a second time